How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be hopping back into the Future is Bright Part 2 event. A little bit later today I'll have a couple videos posted but I'll have some ranked seasons gameplay. I wanted to try and focus on getting to 40 wins to unlock the Gavin Lux. I'm also trying to get to 50 wins to unlock the Future Stars Alec Bomb. So those are probably going to be the videos today. I'm also going to be hopping into ranked like I mentioned a little bit ago uh, to try out Mickey Mantle a little bit more. I have Mickey Mantle, Gary Sheffield, and Craig Biggio, players that I've recently picked up along with some of these future star cards that I want to try on a harder difficulty uh, that I haven't really done so yet. So I'll, I'll have some of that gameplay uh, uploaded a little bit later today. But so far in this one, uh, these, these event games have been a lot of fun. All-star difficulty, a lot of runs are being scored, a lot of base hits. Uh, I'm starting to face a lot more future stars cards. And here we increase the lead with uh, Nolan Jones. That card's really good. I wanted to kind of mix up my lineup a little bit. I've been trying out a variety of these players. I wanted to try out Jose Urquindy. Um, you guys definitely corrected my pronunciation on that card. I'm still probably saying it wrong, but I'm working on it. Uh, we're going to try and get the pronunciation down for all of these future stars. Uh, in that last game, Jazz Chisholm hits one out. That card is probably my favorite future stars to use out of the bunch and honestly I didn't even know how I was going to unlock that card because I didn't have much progress on the Marlins team affinity it's a good thing I did because I have him in the leadoff spot he's on my ranked seasons team and if I didn't have my creative player at shortstop he'd be my starting shortstop this card is unbelievable he has one of the best swings in the entire game starts this game off with the triple bottom of the first inning facing Alex Reyes a lot of people are using this Alex Reyes in this event definitely a good pitcher but uh, doesn't have the best control there Bruhan goes deep on a pitch up and away outside the zone uh, Kirilov is also going deep perfect perfect fly ball uh, the opponent tried to rob it got a nice animation there but that ball is sent out of the stadium uh, this next uh, this next game here we are going up against a guy that has mostly prospect cards but he does have Nick Lodolo this is the first time I'm going to be facing Nick Lodolo and I, I would think that this card would be amazing on Hall of Fame difficulty. Uh, just the amount of movement that he has on his pitches, his uh, his motion is pretty easy to control, and I just feel that the hits and Ks per nine are certainly going to help you, and uh, he just has a, a really good mix, I think. He's kind of reminds me of Chris Sale. I talked a little bit about that in my previous video. Uh, just doesn't have the same deceptive motion, but he does have that same type of repertoire, the same pitch mix. But in this one, we're seeing the ball pretty well. Hitting the ball all right, scoring a good amount of runs, and we're able to sit on that slider, low and away, with Nolan Gorman, hit it off the monster, and that scores a couple of runs. I, I have a lot of lefties batting in a row here, so it makes sense that he's going to leave in the left-handed pitcher. Uh, most people would bring in Vita Blue against me early on in this event. Uh, I saw a lot of left-handed pitchers, but I do like hitting lefty on lefty. This is good practice for me. If you notice that pitcher out there got drilled by that home run, he was the only one that reacted sitting all by himself and uh, the ball kind of hit him. Anytime I see a home run hit at Fenway Park into that bullpen area, I can't help but think about uh, the time that David Ortiz hit a three run shot or a grand slam. I think it was a grand slam against Joaquin Benoit and the Tigers in the playoffs and Torrey Hunter almost robbed it. He actually went into the bullpen, like flipped over, flew into the bullpen. Yeah, I, every time I see a home run at Fenway, I just think of that because, well, I'm a Tigers fan, and I was watching that game, and uh, yeah, that was the last time the Tigers really uh, had something going in the playoffs, I would say. But anyway, we're, we're quite a few years away. We're rebuilding. Uh, I, I like to watch the Diamondbacks now. Uh, basically because they have playoff chances anyway we're giving up grand slams here we're giving up the lead five runs down five once again i'm trying to make the comeback i've made one comeback down five already in this event and that opponent i mean he had a good swing on that grand slam i couldn't have threw him a better pitch he threw it i threw it right down the middle and uh, helio ramos sent that one out for a homer end up hitting a solo shot with jazz chisholm i wasn't even on that pitch honestly didn't deserve that home run but we end up losing the game anyway five to one the, the opponent for that last game did really well. I had a couple opportunities. I messed up with runners in scoring position in the second inning, and uh, I messed up my chances to win that game. Gave up a grand slam, obviously, and anytime you give up a grand slam or a big home run like that in a three-inning game, it makes it extremely difficult to make the comeback. So we're actually uh, going for a 12-1 and run as well. We're uh, currently 8-1. and This is uh, actually 7-1. and We're looking to get to 8-1. and 
And this Mike Piazza has been absolutely terrible for me in this event. That's the only card I'm using that's not a future star. And I'm hitting like 100, 133 with him. Like batting 100 with that card. Absolutely terrible. Uh, I just wanted to include that as well because Mike Piazza is almost like I'm batting with a pitcher up there. Just an automatic out. And the card should be pretty good. I mean, maybe I just stink with them and I got to work on hitting with that type of swing. I don't know. For whatever reason, I have had uh, some success with Piazza in the past. But uh, game to game, I just don't know what I'm going to be working with. Anyway, Jazz Chisholm starting this next game off with a home run. I actually sent this guy a friendly quit. I had a opportunity to kind of sell my car. I'm working on, I was trying to work on selling my car these last couple of days over the weekend. I purchased a new car. I'm working on selling my old one. And I actually got hit up during this game. So I sent him a friendly. He denied it. That's all good. I'll go ahead and try and uh, finish this one off. We're 9-1. and one. I know that this guy's a good opponent as well. Had like a 55-12 and 12 record, something like that. Starts the game off with a leadoff homer to tie the game with Taylor Trammell. Now he has Videl Brujan in the two spot. Same, same similar batting lineup to me. I mean, I have Jazz Chisholm and then Videl Brujan. I like having a lefty, then a switch hitter or lefty-righty. He goes back-to-back -back home runs. Then he hits a double with Piazza. Something I didn't even know was possible because I can't hit with that card at all. Goes deep with Nolan Gorman. Actually, that's Nolan Jones. One of the Nolans. Nolan hits it out. And now we're down by three runs. Four to one game. I'm starting this next inning off with a uh, pop-up. We have one down. Brandon Marsh is getting a late base hit. Very late base hit down the line. That's a single. Brings up Nolan Jones as a pinch hitter for the pitcher. And first pitch, I'm swinging at it. I'm trying to hit it out. And uh, Nolan Jones hits one against me. I hit one against the opponent with him. And so far, two runs from Nolan Jones in this game. 4-3 to three ball game. Jazz Chisholm following batter. He's going to tie it up. Second home run of the game. Started the game off with the homer. Hits his second one of the ball game. That no-doubter animation is one of the best. I just like how he kind of just hits it and freezes with that uh, one-handed finish. That is an amazing finish. I, I really like that card. I'm always looking to take the extra base with a lot of these speed guys. And right there, he had a weird animation in center field. We get to second base, and it didn't really uh, matter because we end up hitting a perfect, perfect line drive right to Taylor Trammell with Taylor Trammell. But we were in scoring, scoring position, and that is what I was looking to do. So we need to get this out right here. He has a guy on second base, Videl Brujan up. I have Jose Urquindy in the game, and I'm going with the changeup. That card has a great changeup. I know that he's going to hit the ball. I'm just trying to keep the ball in the yard and make a play. Videl Brujan has good contact, great power, and good vision. But uh, we end up getting out of the inning. Very first pitch of the third inning, he brought in Rob Nen, threw a fastball down the middle, hit it out with Alex Kirilov, and now we're just looking to seal this game out. We're up by a run, bottom of the third inning. He's got the heart of his lineup. Nolan Gorman, he's got Mike Piazza on deck, and then he also will have Nolan Jones, who already has a home run. So we definitely got to face a couple really good hitters. This guy doesn't seem to have a problem hitting with Piazza. He has a 429 average with one homer. He's got four RBI, six hits, three doubles. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be another one. That's going to be another home run. We have Taylor Trammell at the track. He robs that home run to keep the game at a one-run lead. And now we just need to get this last out facing Nolan Jones. We got the clutch robbery. We had an opportunity to rob one earlier with when uh, Videl Brujan hit one out. I didn't get the right animation, didn't time it correctly, but we are able to win that last game. So now we're 9-1. and one. We need three more wins to unlock a 12-1 and one diamond. But worst case scenario, we win this game or the next one, and we unlock Gavin Lux. So that is the plan. That's the idea. We're going to get 20K stubs or right around there regardless. Even if we lose, uh, if we have to start up a new run, We'll go ahead and do that, but we're at 39 total wins. I think I had about 20-something in the first one. I'm looking to get another 20-something in the second part, so that way I can get at least to 50 and unlock that Alec Bomb because I'm looking to sell them. I'm not going to keep that card. I have all a lot of other future star cards that I can use, a lot of other third baseman, first baseman that I can use. I'm not going to keep Alec Bomb when he's his price is at like 60k. I can sell them and uh, build my team up for rank season. So I don't really know why this opponent quit out. I mean, he just had his three outs. He quit. 
we got the Gavin Lux, and I will include the last couple games here, pushing for that 12 and one diamond in a different video. Just wanted to keep this one short and sweet with some highlights. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. I'm gonna push for that 12 and one event run diamond. Peace out everybody, and I'll see you in the next video.